This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. It looks like Tioga Downs may not have any competition after all as it applies for a casino license for the second time. As we reported last week, the Binghamton City Council announced its support of a casino at the Stowe Manufacturing Site. But now, according to our media partner, the Star Gazette, the financer of that project, Jeffrey Hyman, announced over the weekend he will no longer send in his bid. Hyman told the New York State Gaming Commission his decision is due to uncertainty about a tax credit, which led his investors to pull their support. That makes Jeff Garral and Tioga Downs the only known bidder from the region. The deadline to apply for the license is this afternoon. We want to warn you of another phone scam that's sweeping the area. According to our media partner, the Star Gazette, Care First is warning residents of out-of-town hospice donation solicitations. The scam comes specifically from the Hospice Support Fund out of Virginia. It claims to support local hospice programs. But Care First says they do not use a third party to raise money, nor do they solicit over the phone. Any mail coming directly from Care First will always have the name and logo on it. School has been out for a few weeks now, and if your children are starting to get bored, here's a suggestion. The Summer Parks program in Corning kicks off today. Kids can enjoy a variety of games, sports, crafts, and cultural events. There are also field trips, ice cream parties, nature hikes, and much more. The program overall promotes physical and mental well-being. The fun can be found at Denison Park, Stewart Park, Houghton Park, and the William Street Parks in Corning. Activities run Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. from today through August 13th. Kids can come as and go as they please, and it's all free of charge. And after about a month of being on the loose, escapee David Sweat is back in prison. Sweat was released from Albany Medical Center on Sunday and brought to Five Points Correctional Facility, a maximum security prison in Romulus, New York. The Department of Corrections and Community Supervision says Sweat will stay in the infirmary for the first 24 hours for medical evaluation. He will then be put in a single cell in a 23-hour confinement unit. Each cell has a bed, writing platform, toilet, sink, and facility-controlled shower, which will limit his movement. Sweat will also be placed on active suicide watch. Now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey there, Leanne. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Decent weekend. We had a little bit of rain Saturday morning and a couple of scattered showers in the afternoon that tended to pop up. But Sunday was a gorgeous day, and I think today, not bad. There may be a shower, a thunder shower coming through at some point this afternoon associated with a weakening low pressure. But a high of 84, a little muggier today as well. So here's a look at first warning satellite and Doppler radar, and you can see the moisture down to the south here. Um, as this weakening area of low pressure starts to work its way to the north. So uh, even though it's filling in, I still can't rule out a scattered shower or thunder shower at some point this afternoon. But I think most of the day today, this afternoon, this evening, and tonight should be mainly dry. Then we get into Tuesday, and I think most of the time it will be dry. But you look to the west, here's our next front. That's going to come through here Tuesday late in the day. So I think here's how we play on Tuesday. We'll have hazy sunshine, warm, humid. We have an opportunity to reach for 90 in advance of the front that comes through. But as the front gets a little closer to us, there will be a few scattered showers and thunderstorms breaking out again later in the day Tuesday. So this afternoon, maybe a scattered haphazard shower storm. 80 to 85, a little more humid overnight tonight. Opportunity for a scattered shower storm to move through. And then Tuesday, here you go. We've got uh, sunshine, warm and humid weather. And uh, again, in advance of the front, we have an opportunity to hit 90. But during the afternoon, here comes some scattered showers and thunderstorms through the region. Uh, I think the highest likelihood right there would be later in the day and through the overnight Tuesday. And you can see that there as we head into Wednesday morning. There may be a shower left over Wednesday early in the day and then skies clear. It'll turn cooler and less humid. So we go from 88, 89, maybe 90 on Tuesday to the mid 70s on Wednesday. And right now Thursday looks like a decent day. Let's talk today though. High of about 84, 
and skies should average partly cloudy. But again, late in the day, we have that opportunity for a shower or thunder shower. 89 on Tuesday, storms later, early showers Wednesday, 75, cooler and less humid, 77 on Thursday. And right now, Friday looks like a decent day at 82. More sun, good news for the launch of the lakes party up at Watkins Glen International Friday evening. And for Wine Fest, Saturday and Sunday, maybe a couple of scattered showers or storms around, uh, but neither Saturday or Sunday look like a complete rain out. A little more humid though, Leanne, and highs in the 80s. You know humidity just means my hair is going to frizz. Frizz factor will be high. I'm never a fan, but it's okay. I don't blame you. <laughs> hey, you know what? A lot of people have been waiting for some summer weather. I so. know. I'm excited for the temperature to go up, but nothing will be yesterday. Yeah, it was it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day.